everybody, welcome back. This is Brad, watching Jimmy's and Sooks. And we are on the St. Johns River here in beautiful Palatka, Florida. So I have five traps. They've been sitting out for a couple days, all set with Menhaden. Um, had some good success last time I came out, so we'll see how we do today. Um, I'm hoping for about two dozen. I think that's reasonable. But uh, a lot of traps out here, popular area. So we'll see how we do. All right, let's go get these crabs. This is in a new spot. It's about 13 or 14 feet of water. Let's see what we get. bad not great not bad though one two three four five six six decent crabs you got probably two that's got to go back but not bad all right we'll get these dumped Not a bad crab pot. On to the next. Alright, so this trap's probably only about five feet. Okay. Two crabs there. Four. Four crabs. Not great. Not bad. I'd expect better. But I'd say that they're all keepers. Take this back to the truck real quick. Alright. Not the biggest crabs you'll see, but they always are very pretty. sense of how deep the water is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feet, baby. Not a bad crap out there. Look at that. Not bad. One, two, three, four, little one, five, six. Six keepers in this. That's fantastic. Let's get these dumped. All right, six keepers. It's coming in.
set around five feet. We'll have more success around eight. But I was going with some tips. Oh, I got a couple crabs. Small. Well, one keeper, two keepers, and then two that definitely have to go back. One looks like a female, little little girl, right there. So we'll get these dumped, get those two back. Get this one out of here, see if we can just get this one out. Oh. Oh. Here comes a keeper. Bait out. Look at him. All right. Alright, this one here will close things out. Let's hope for a good one. It's been okay. Not as good as I did last year. I think this is set around eight feet. So right in that sweet spot, in my opinion. Oh, y'all see some crabs. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I see some crabs. Looks like there's a peeler in there that didn't survive. All right, let's get this bait out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six crabs on this pole. That's the empty shell from that peeler little female peeler she came right out of there pretty cool huh all right let's get these dumped What do we get? Four, six, four, and six, and six. 26. And I know I've thrown back a couple. So we'll say a little less than two dozen, but not a bad day. Not a bad day out here in Palaka. I can definitely, uh, you know, do better elsewhere, but hey man, this was a fun trip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. This is Brad. You're watching Jimmy's and Silks. Please like, please subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Um, I love doing it, but I love the support. This is what it looks like today. A little less than two dozen keepers. Um, not a bad day at all. I love it. St. John's River producing some good crabs. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. So, 
couple takeaways I would say is that the Menhaden, the Pogi, uh, didn't work as well as the Shad. And then I'd also say that five feet of water did not work as well as the eight feet of water. So anyway, that's what I learned on this trip. Um, yeah, great day. Grateful for calm water. Um, grateful to catch some crabs and have a fun time doing it. So yeah, please like, please subscribe. This is Brad signing out from Jimmy's and Sooks. Be good to each other. Peace.